Africa was to uh, reduce the, the population. So to give aid to countries in Africa, not uh, clean water and schooling and things like that, but uh, contraception and abortion. In order to shrink the population of Africa because they have great mineral resources there. That sounds diabolical. It I mean, is. I, I, yes. That sounds like something conceived in the mind of Margaret Sanger. Yeah, definitely. And so the, uh, at the time, Kissinger and those involved with the Carter administration wanted to shrink the population, make sure that the Africans do not develop and do not use the resources for themselves. Because we in the States, we need them. There is a, a concerted effort of foreign powers to uh, control the population of Africa. Africa is a huge continent, could, mm. could feed thousands more people, but the uh, policies of the West, especially in, in Europe. For example, between 1990 and the year 2000, the United States, Canada and Europe contributed about $6 billion in contraceptives. Not to help the people, not to give clean water, clean food. Uh, mm. That is uh, not, not to fight malaria, for example. No, of course, to perish the thought, never. Yeah. Let them die. That's the whole idea. So, in our work in HLI, we denounce this reality to make the Africans aware that they have to defend themselves against the, the influence of foreign powers. Intentionally using synthetic molecules, which by design are. Our cancer aids all of the it's, uh, for the, could dream up. Yeah, so for the purpose of sterilization and, and population control. There's too many people on the planet we need to get rid of. In the words of Bill Gates, at least three billion people need to die. So we'll just start off in Africa. We'll start doing our research there, and we'll eliminate, eliminate most, most of the Africans because they're deplorable. They're worthless. They're not part of this world economy. So they have their rights taken away, and they're suppressed and they're experimented. And they deserve to get this vaccine first. And from there, you want to do tiering in very We thank God that we now have the internet so that we can bring back some of these videos and play it so that we can refresh our memories. These people has never regarded us as anything. To them, we are just like guinea pigs that they can use for their own experiments. This life that we are living, every man is a walking dead. Nobody is going to come out alive. I don't know what gives some people the right to think that they, they can wipe off an entire race just because of the color of their skin. My dear African brothers and sisters, this particular group of people created division amongst our nations so that it will be easier for them to, to, to overthrow us. It will be easier for them to get us. They knew that if we are united, if we are one, they cannot even stand us. Now that we know all of this, this is the time. If our fathers and our forefathers could not do it, it is time for us, the youth, to put our voices together and make this work. Let us change that division mindset. Let us start treating each other as one and see if these people are going to win. We all know that saying that divided we fall and together we stand. My dear brothers and sisters in Africa, this is the time. We cannot allow these people to keep using us to do their experiments. They fake it and come in the form of medical assistance and stuff like that. Right now, they are coming with some funny vaccines in the name of malaria vaccines and stuff like that. They have already started administering that vaccine in Cameroon and some other African countries. I'm not stopping you from going to get them, but if before you step out or bring your children to go get such vaccines, please think about it. We have herbs that can help all of us, but we choose to ignore it and go and take the one that is given to us by our enemies with hidden agendas. Please be careful. Be careful. This is the time. If you listen to this video keenly, you will hear the kind of bitterness that is coming from their hearts. Africans are worthless. We should start with them. They don't belong to this 
class. Be you in whatever class, no one is going to come out of this life alive. All of us are going to die someday. But use your platforms. We all have our small, small pages. Use your platforms to speak. They need to start understanding that the African youths are aware of what is going on. Each time they go to the For You feed, they see Africans speaking out. They will know that we are aware. That is enough message already that we are sending to them. Please don't sit quiet. We cannot allow these people to have that control over us anymore. Enough is enough. African youth is time. Change your division mindset. This is not the time to be divided anymore. How can they decide to use us as guinea pigs for experiments? They will come here in the name of partnership. They will come here in the name of they want to help us with technology. We are not complaining. We are better without them. Please, my brothers and sisters, when you sit at your quiet time, listen to some of these videos, get the message that they are passing, then you will understand why you have to speak up for your own good and for your own children yet unborn. Share this video. And thank you very much for watching.